Nelson Kuria has served on the boards of, among others, the Institute of Directors of Kenya, Higher Education Norms Board, Federation of Kenya Employers, and the Kenya Reinsurance Corporation. He is also a past chair of the Association of Kenya Insurers. In April this year, he was appointed an expert on a panel to advise the United Nations Secretary General on the International Year of Cooperatives, which will be marked next year. He is also the CEO of CIC Insurance and he spoke to KTN's Anki Guta on what drives him. Nelson Kuria's story is written by the ink that is the sweat of his brow, punctuated by prayer and hope. Here at his Karen home with his wife, he recalls a time when all he wanted to be was a government planner or economist, unaware that his passion to improve the livelihoods of others would be realized years later as the CEO of Kenya's third largest insurer. The son of a humble farmer... I've never eaten this. Kuria learned from an early age that he was not going to get anything in this life for free. I had to work to even go to school for my school fees to be paid. I had to milk cows very early in the morning, around 4 a.m. in the morning, take milk to the dairy. I had, uh, you know, to, to pick by red rum uh, over the weekend. We had to tend the shamba. You know, work was part of me. And study he did, getting his Bachelor of Arts degree in economics from the University of Nairobi in 1979, undergoing strategic management training, and then graduating from the Stanford University's executive leadership program. He tells me what inspired him to pursue economics in the first place. When I was doing my A-level, um, I got some two gentlemen who came for teaching practice from Kenyatta University then. They were doing economics at uh, university and uh, they talked a lot about uh, economics as a subject and I was thrilled by what they said about uh, the subject. He would later follow in the footsteps of his uncle and work in a bank, joining the ICDC Development Bank in research and project development. It was his first job, and in 1979, his 3,500 shilling salary was big bucks. I remember because I was small-bodied, when I went to a, a, a bank, a Barclays Bank then, at uh, Union Towers, uh, the teller who was there looked at me and thought that I was not the kind of person to earn such kind of money. Those were exciting days for him, working in what he calls a business that had a multidisciplinary approach. They accorded him the opportunity to be part of something that he felt was bigger than himself. Knowing that you are also doing a contribution that will ultimately see a factory or a, a big business standing somewhere, and you have a contribution maybe by the way of... Uh, uh, you know, an input in the, in the feasibility study, that in itself was very, very fulfilling. He would later join the insurance industry in 1982 at the then Kenyan National Assurance Company, leaving in 1993 as the chief manager of the insurance division. But it was not until June of 1998 that he would join the cooperative insurance company and began his struggle to climb the ladder. He looks back at those 13 years, years of toil, years of dedication and passion. I, to some extent, uh, gave my family very little time and uh, because I used to travel I was crisscrossing this country uh, I would come home late even after 10 you know and uh, leave very early so at times I would not even see my children because I would leave very early by the time I come back uh, at night they are already asleep. One would be forgiven for thinking that now as a CEO he gets to sleep in a little nothing could be further from the truth. I leave home even at time before 6, I'm in the office by 6.15, and that is my normal routine. Starting very early in the office, I brush through my newspapers. So just what keeps him working this hard even now? The answer lies between his faith and vocation. Even before the onset of free primary, free secondary education, I can tell you cooperatives have been doing a lot in terms of educating the sons and daughters of ordinary farmers. That's how most of us have gone to school and that's how most of us have been empowered. That even a person of a son of a peasant like me can come all the way from Nyandarwa, 
come to Nairobi, go through the university, and through merit, rise to the position of a CEO of such a public-oriented organization.